My Dead Black Body When someone puts a bullet into my flesh or chokes the life out of me for whatever reason, there will still be a great many people who love me but sit silently while I'm portrayed as someone who doesn't deserve due process or an independent investigation. They will deny and minimize accusations that there are failures and bias in our systems, suggesting my death was somehow what I deserved. My killer will be regarded as a hero or just doing his job, and probably win an award or at least be awarded another job in a different location. The media will find a picture of me in a hoodie or at least looking menacing and tell people about every bad thing I ever did. There will be experts to talk about how my weight or poverty killed me more than someone's action to end my life. My family will be told that my death is a homicide and that no one will be responsible, so deal with it. The dirt and misdeeds of my family and people who support me will also be used to justify my death. Christians will call my story too political and see that as cause to stay out of it unless it can be used as a platform for traditional values. Those who stand up for me will be portrayed as the problem with this country and shamed for creating division. Then a politician or a news commentator will make my death about taxes, black on black crime, and the war on Christianity. Then the news cycle will continue. Another dead black body will take my place and the story will repeat. Hopefully my name will get added to the list of people who were killed with the same outcomes. Maybe it will matter 50 years from now, or maybe it'll be forgotten. And a nameless picture of my dead body will be used to illustrate someone's slideshow during Black History Month. This has been the narrative for dead black bodies, and unless someone like you commits to changing that, it will continue. I refuse to be silent, I don't know how it's working out for you, but my life, my death, and my legacy depend on it. Silence equals consent. Black lives matter. Now is the time to figure out what will you do? I wrote this on December 15th, 2014.